I'd like to show the workflow that I'm using in my pre-construction services class for taking off from both 3D models, BIM models, as well as 2D documents. I'm going to start first in Navisworks. I select the wall system that I want to take off, so I have a concrete 8 inch foundation wall, and then puts it in this uh, eBridge takeoff panel. Well, I'm just going to basically take and drag those objects and drop them into the foundation wall inside of a, a product called Bridge that really opens up my Sage database so I can link my takeoff and my estimate all together at once so there's no manual uh, re-entry per se. So I'm going to take and drop that. When I do, it then brings up the variables from Sage estimating as well as the model information that it's found that I can then link across or map across for, uh, from the objects to the variables in Sage. So I'm going to take my length and just drop it to where the length goes. The width, I'll take it and drop it where the width goes. And the height, bring it across. Sage then prompts me for the concrete PSI. And I don't have that in the model, so I'm just going to manually enter that as 4,000 PSI. And I don't think I need to pump it. Now I uh, can generate my passes here in Sage. And it generates my quantities there. I can look here and see if there's anything else down here that's useful to map, but not seeing anything on this one, so we'll, we'll just call that good and send it to Sage. So I hit this green check mark. That is now sent into my Sage estimate. Now, if I wanted to do my slab on grade, I could come here and um, actually come and pick my slab on grade. Uh, let me just minimize this real quick. And the right tool. Okay, so now I can pick my slab on grade there. Takes me to the right spot in the selection tree for it. And I can now just take that floor, and it's just not the one object here that you see. I'm going to drag that over to my slab on grade assembly. So I do that, and here's all the variables that can come across. So I can take my thickness and put it to where my slab thickness goes. Take the area, map it to where area goes. If I wanted to do forming, um, whether that's applicable or not, I could actually come here and say, Yes, I want to do the perimeter and form it. And let's just make it the same thickness there. Again, the concrete PSI, I just have to manually enter that because that's not one of the values. Uh, look to make sure everything's good. Generate my passes. And then I can send that over to Sage by hitting the green plus here, or green check mark. So now that that's gone and headed over to Sage. Now say if I wanted to do some 2D takeoff at the same time, I could come and open up the 2D dimension product and let's say I wanted to take off some ceramic tile here in the women's restroom. So I would double click on my ceramic tile and we'll just say the whole floor needs it. And I'm just going to make this quick rather than accurate for the demo. So my ceramic tile floor area is now uh, calculated. But then if I need the wainscot, let's say there's a wainscot in there as well. So I'm going to double click on it. And I'm just going to say in the toilet stall area, there's also this Wayne's coat that we would need. So I have both of those things measured. Now I'm just going to uh, show them the uh, measurement window. I'm just going to make that so it keeps on top. And so now if I come down to my finishes, we'll go to the, oh, I need to start bridge through the 2D takeoff. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Then, again, open up finishes and ceramic tiles where I want to go. So I'm going to take this ceramic tile square footage and just drag it up to that assembly and drop it. And it brings all the measurements here. So I've got the area that I can put in there. But I can also do the Wayne's code at the same time. Uh, let me resize the window here just a little bit. So if I want to bring the wage code up, I can actually come right here and I could drag it over and drop it into the secondary takeoff. And again, I'll resize the windows a little bit more. Then I can take that length and feed that in. So I'm using two different measurements for this assembly. And then I can say the wage coat is four feet high. Uh, then I can generate that quantity and send that to Sage. So let's just assume now that all that is completed. So I'm going to uh, just go ahead and minimize that and we'll just minimize all the stuff here. And we'll go back to the Navis model. Now say it's been a while since I've been in the Navis model. So I'm going to come here and again, make that link back to uh, bridge so I can talk to my Sage estimating database. And let's just say 
I don't quite remember what's been taken off and what hasn't. So I can come here and hit hide assigned. Then the objects that have already been taken off visually disappear, but it also uh, hides it in the selection tree. So then I know what objects have been taken off and which objects haven't. So if I want to take off one of my uh, slab on metal decks, I could come here and select my slab on metal deck. And I could select it there, or I could also come just out of the selection tree and select it there as well. Either way works. In my uh, bridge, make sure I got my slab on metal deck assembly visible. Then I can just take and drag and drop my slab on metal deck here. Now I can say, okay, the area comes up to square footage of area here. Oops, let me try that again. The thickness, I can drag that right there. I know that the flutes are three inches, so on that I would then enter uh, 0.25. Concrete PSI again is 4,000. Uh, not lightweight, but yes, we do want to pump it. I can generate my passes. Gives me all that information there. Um, as I scroll down, I notice that uh, I've mapped here that the this is for level two, so I can take that and just drop down the heading there. Then that'll assign the location of level two to all the objects. Hit the plus, or the green check mark, sorry, and that'll send it to Sage. So now that's gone to Sage. Now let me exit out of some of this and just open up Sage real quick. Uh, let's see if I can go slow enough that I don't make anything. So let me just close that again and try it one more time. Now as Sage opens up here, it should show everything that's been taken off from both the 2D and the 3D world of my takeoffs. And there you can see all the quantities that were generated from the objects that I did. Hopefully this has been helpful and thanks for watching.